Greetings, I'm Trevian Glory, and welcome to part 2 of my look at the Fireforged Empires mod for Total War Attila. So playing as the British Gallic Roman Empire, uh, which is one of the new playable factions, the plan is to replace the Western Roman Empire, but we started off as a horde. So we just had the general and our three cavalry units. All of this, all of these are mercenary units that we've recruited. So it yeah, started as a horde and we're apparently some sort of um, scavenger race because we have Lindum now and we managed to secure that through dint of the Atacotians who came down and laid waste to it and then we wandered in. Um, I've realised or I've remembered that it didn't cost me any troops when I settled Lindum. Uh, the term is... hang on. I can't remember now, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, it's resettled. So if, you, if you're a uh, wandering horde, or a migrating horde, you can resettle a desolate region at no cost. The plan for me now is to come down and colonise Camulodunum, and that will cost me troops and money, so I need to have a plan for that. Um, Western Roman Empire have been kicked out of Iboricum and Sigontium also uh, by the Picts and in Corinium someone, maybe the Abdanians kicked out the Western Roman Empire from there and released the British so the Romans still hold Londinium but that's it now before I do anything let's have a look at our general he's got some skills mad skills. We could get one more zeal which would give us an extra integrity and some buffs for the commander's unit but I don't think integrity is necessary right now. Yeah change per turn is plus two and even if we leave friendly territory it's still going to be plus one so we don't need zeal. So we'll take Legatus and melee defense plus three for infantry, cunning of plus one Reduce, reduce upkeep costs by 2% and again buffs for the commander's unit or for the governed province but it's not going to be a governor for a while at least Sentinel would give us plus 3 melee defence for the commanded force as opposed to just infantry units so we're going for Sentinel then easy enough choice in the end and can I recruit anything more? Uh, I'm not Going to hang around for three turns to recruit Milites. We can't get any more mercs. There's also a rebel army somewhere down here that we chased out of Lindum. So we need to probably destroy that before we can come and take Camulodunum. Otherwise, it will just get stronger and I'll get weaker. So, what? I think I may actually do if I uh, in Lindum let's raise another general we've got Magnus Galerius Tranquillus you raise an army with the heavy Eacularii and you can't well you can move a wee bit come down as far as you can. What we'll do is we'll come down, fight the rebel army, and then transfer all our mercs under this general. He can colonize Camula Dunham, and that way I don't lose any of my precious Roman cavalry. Other than to casualties when we fight this army. So let's come down just into this region just now. There's the rebels. Right, uh, can I get any more mercs here? We can get some Britonic horsemen, but that's it. And hopefully this is going to leave me enough to pay for that. Right, let's get you across here. And we have uh, Atacotians. It would have been ideal if we could get them into this fight, but they're too far away, obviously. So we'll just go ahead and make the attack. 
Right, two onagers, three units of horsemen, three units of archers. Uh, yeah, I don't think this is going to be straightforward. I'm going to take more losses than I want, no doubt. But, to our best. I don't like the look of this, but we'll accept the dry weather rather than risk anything else. We've got Cav to either flank, not just here. Okay, and I can forward deploy, yes. So let's get the archers, we'll take advantage of that since they offer it to us. Uh, let's get you into skirmish mode and loose formation. You'll target that cav unit, and then Celtic skirmishers. Let's have you. Um, not in skirmish mode or loose spacing. We're going to have you form up here. Roughly. Um, we'll put you into light spear ball right from the start. Then we'll have infantry in behind. A bit further back. And then if we have you out here. You out here. Group you up. Can I put you all into... Yeah, you can go into shield wall. What about you? You can do the same. Light shield wall. Right. Because I'm likely to not get to you in time when it comes to uh, the enemy cav charging in. It's got to look exactly right. There we go. Right, and we have this... Archers, mounted archer unit. We'll have you out here. Skirmish mode and light order. And then the Britonic horsemen. Might be equally matched there. Let's move you slightly further away. And the cav can't forward deploy. I think we'll have the medium melee cav here along with the general. And our heavy shock cav we're going to send up around right to counter these guys. Yeah, okay. So let's start the battle. You come forward, not at the run. Let's kind of forward as well. And put you in as a group, just because you get up there. I want the archers to come forward. Leave the infantry where it is for now. Well, actually, no, let's not. Let's move them a bit further forward. Uh, no, uh, sorry, sorry, what am I doing? Cancel all that nonsense. And we'll have you advance just to there. You come up to there. Let's 
position you a bit more like that. Right, they're coming. Could you and you go and attack there? You and you get into your light shield wall. You get to your light spear wall. Right, you go after them. You and you go after them. And you go after them. But you can go into wedge. And then attack them. Right. You come up here and shoot at them. Right, you guys pull back. You keep shooting that cav. You're standing up pretty well against my heavy shock cav. Are you shooting them in the back? Please do. Let's get you over there as well. To help out. And you get ready to engage them. You attack here again. What's happening over there? 117. 186. Right, you're dealing with them. You're okay. Could you... Target them for now, actually. You stay on them. And you should be shooting at Will, I hope. Let's bring our cav out of there. I hadn't noticed that we had lost their cav and were being attacked by spearmen. You guys need to attack there. You get into them and you pull out. Run out. Right, you're doing well enough. You're not going to attack us, so we'll come out of light shield wall and we'll attack you. Okay, you up around there. You can come forward. In fact, you change mind. You attack them for now. They've broken. Let's get you to go. And in fact, you go and attack there. I don't know how many of those buggers got away, but some of them did. Bring the archers back in. You attack here. Let's get you in there. You attack those archers. And General, you come over here. Have you finished yet? You have. You charge back in after them. No. After the Onager. You attack there, you're shooting at them. You hit them too. You're on your way in. That's fine for them. Go after the archers. Could you head up there and start shooting into the back of them and don't do as much um, friendly fire damage, please? You go after that breaking unit, you attack there. You both go after the general. You keep focusing on, on them. You target those guys. Right. Come right around there, please. Shoot them. You attack here again. Let's get General out of there. It's not so good. We've got one man, 12. 
chase down them and you attack there in the back. Okay, let's take you off, shoot it well, and actually just charge after them. General, you can hit them again. You make sure nobody from that regiment gets off that regiment, that unit. Trample as well. Absolutely maul them. They got off, damn it! Nothing worse than a rebel army that gets units off the field. Right, the general's going. You don't shoot it well, he's probably got no ammo. Oh, you do have ammunition left. So annoyed at that. We chased them all over. Okay, we can end the battle. 674 losses. Not too many from my cav. As long as I've got enough mercenary infantry left. Um, we'll take on the replenishment and one unit did get away. At once. Buggers. Commander. Right. Well, march down here. On the move. Hopefully. Now, the Atacoteans aren't going to colonise Camelot Dunham, they're a horde. They're not interested in living in houses. Even ruined houses. Right, uh, we've got technology to research. We're going to stay on military tech just now. We're a long way from wanting sheep pens. Plus one growth isn't that great. Public order plus one's not much use either. So carry on with this and then we'll get three extra integrity. What do we have here? Army founded, unit recruited, decisive battle. Uh, armor plus 5% for the commander's unit, that's rubbish. Buffing up the commander's unit is less than exciting. Right. Nothing else to do. Western Roman Empire's opinion of us is now only six because we have trespassed, finally. It didn't count the trespasses originally, but the last thing I need is them to go to war with me as well. Anyway, let's end the turn. Well, actually, nobody's at war with, at war with me. I thought the Picts had colonised Camula Dunham there. Um... Can I get them involved in... And, and nobody's attacked Londinium. Which is good. Well, sort of good. No, hang on. Somebody has now. Who was that? That must have been the Atacotians. But anyway, I was wondering if I could get somebody into battle against this rebel army. Somebody being these picks. I think they're a bit far away. Anyway, completed chapter one. Completed three of the six bonus objectives. That would have been recruit the mercs, get 500 payment from Rome, Western Rome, and the third one was recruit, that uh, uh, research the unified law. That's right. So we missed out on three. We didn't go to war with the Picts, uh, didn't raise or sack a settlement, and Yeah, the other one was to maintain four units of like, Roman spearmen that we can't even recruit. Next mission. The Old World Order is about to end. The Britannian legions have already recognised in Magnus Maximus a competent and distinguished commander who has found the strength to fight back against the barbarian hordes. Many people are already openly saying that Rome needs a new and stronger emperor. Well, it's not going to be us for a while. Survive until 374, that's five years away, and we've got new bonus objectives. New bonus objectives are... Maintain 10 units of proper infantry, or proper 
yeah, probably all infantry, I think. Maintain a military presence in Britannia Superior, which we've already done. Research military standardization. Costs two and a half thousand gold. And we got a thousand in return for it. Uh, ensure the following factions have no military presence within your territory. Excellent. I guess we've got the two and a half thousand gold for that. That should give us plenty for this settlement of Camulodunum. Hold Eboricum. That's going to be a bit more of a tougher ask because the Picts hold that and the Picts are strong. And hold both Britannia Inferior and Britannia Superior. Again, that's going to be a tough ask. Right. Okay, let's grab this before we lose the opportunity. If we bring this general down to here. Yes, that'll be fine. And then transfer in all of you. I probably don't want to merge anybody up. And the Britonic horsemen as well, and the onagers. And let's see what's it going to cost us. Only 900 troops, but 8,000 gold. God, we were lucky we got the, uh, those uh, chapter objectives complete. Anyway, let's colonise. And dare I weaken myself? Can't recruit anything. We can't recruit any troops here either. We've still got the um, cavalry. Let's just merge everybody up. Reduce our costs. Give us stronger units. At your command. And Call this again. have... You need to join At the Legio II Britannica. You can be disbanded, and then you can march in. I want hourly patrols. Right. I don't have much money for recruitment anyway. What else do we have? Uh, Camilla Dunham, we can appoint a governor for this province. Decimus Valentius, you're a patron. Plus 10 wealth from cultural buildings. Or uh, you had uh, research, didn't you? Yeah. What about you? You've got the zeal. Should I kick you out and put these... Uh, he, we can't put this guy in any, anyway because he has just been removed as commander. So I think we'll put Decimus here in as the governor of Britannia Superior. Next time out we'll put Magnus in as Britannia Inferior's governor. And then that frees up Secundus with his zeal to lead the next army. Uh, 78% Dominion and still 40% current control. You can't uh, be promoted. You've only got 8 influence. You need uh, 20 for this. Okay, I think we're done then. Um, we can now open up trade though. Western Roman Empire? Well, nobody's going to want to trade with us, are they? No, I don't have any trade goods.
the Abdanians. Yeah, you're confined to Ireland. Speak quickly and well. Speak ill or slowly and I may feed your tongue to... How about non-aggression pact? No. I need to... I need to remove Britain. There's no point trying to get an on aggression pact there. Western Roman Empire, I'm sure they started with 68 regions, so they've lost 8 already. Sign of the times. Right. We're at the end of the turn, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, so let's move on. Let's go for bread and circuses here first, though. Then we'll move on. We'll suffer some attrition in Camulodunum because of lack of food, I'm sure. Yeah. What's the province effect? Spring, just. Okay, let's end the turn. Stop withering on. Here come the Abdanians. And there go the Picts. Maybe get the Abdanians to come up and fight against that unit. And Western Roman Empire, the abandoning Burg de Gala, looks like it. The Atacotians Europe, and you have just set fire to Londinium. I'm not in a position to go and colonise Londinium. Don't have the troops nor the money. Where are you off to? Lindum. Okay. At least we have a garrison in there. We've had enough time to gather that. I'm just going to resolve this. And let's just be aggressive. Right, gain 265 money. Yeah, take 265 monies. Disease outbreak, smallpox, and Camilla Dunham that's following us about. The, the army's infected with it from Lindum. Got the Colonia in Lindum. Uh, Magnus is ready for duty again. Got our military provisions. Bread and circuses, food shortages, uh, Britannia inferior. Minus one. Okay. Right. Well, we don't need to go and deal with that army any longer. How many men did it take us? Uh, it was about 800, 900. So that's 310, 540, 670, uh, 700, 820. Yeah. I would have to use some of my cav. Uh, and I don't have the money anyway, probably. So we just need to leave that as it is for now. Camilla Dunham, we can. Repair the ruined village, build the vicus. Oh, is that where vicarage comes from? I wonder. Maybe. Uh, nothing to do here. Probably because it's... No, it's, it's not about spending the money. We've still got... Growth factor of 7 next time. I was miscalculating this before I was looking at... The growth next turn. And I thought that was the... The, the size of the growth next turn, but it's not. That's what the growth will be. We get 7 growth next turn to add to our 13 accumulated growth. So, growth factors of 7. We're talking about 3 more turns yet before we get uh, this round building opened up for repair. Camera Dunham. Uh, public order, military presence is very much what's keeping us in the positives for now, so we'll leave the army where it is. 
Uh, tech, as I said, we're going to focus on the military tech first. What does this give me? A thousand gold. I don't have the two and a half thousand anyway, I've spent some of it, didn't I? Uh, yeah, so we can leave that as it is. Things are improving with the Western Romans at least. It remains neutral. Danians, things are deteriorating. Cultural aversion and religious aversion you're never going to be happy with is... Great power. You having a laugh. You're strength rank 22, I'm strength rank 44. Right. Okay, I suppose then I can end the turn and then we'll put in a break and pick this up again next time out. Picks are back. At least I'm not raiding. Just trespassing. Just dying off of smallpox. I don't know if there's an edict that provides sanitation. I don't think so. Just thought Britain might go and populate or colonise Londinium. They didn't this time. Resolved their food shortage. Gained an epic poet. And plus two per earning situation. I want to take that off you. And Secundus gains a rank, he's now rank 3. Right, before I forget, um, Secundus Helva. Oh, you're equipping that just now. Now yeah, take that. Don't take that just now. Magnus, what do you have? Oh, you've got that already. Yeah, fine. Should I look for a wife? Why not? Uh, yeah, seek wife. From Magnus. Uh, Secundus. Yeah, we need to leave you with that for now, but you can take that. And you gain the rank so you've got skills. Well, we did want the extra zeal. Doesn't give you a huge amount, actually. Maybe we don't go with the extra zeal. Yeah, you're not going to be a governor, you're going to be a commander. So, let's just put two points into Sentinel. Right, and I'll sort out the rest later. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment, rate the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, and I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.